Just hear those sleigh bells ring a ling ting 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 one two. Hey, <laughs> hi guys. Well, look at what I have. It is primarily dollar. Well, I can't say primarily. A lot of it is Dollar Tree and then things I had. So, if you are in the mood to watch a DIY for Christmas in July, stick around. Hello everyone and welcome to another Christmas in July DIY. I started painting these wooden spoons. Here's one that I still need to do, so I'll do that with you. Um, we are going to make Santa's out of wooden spoons. So, I have these two done. I wanted to get a little bit of the painting done before I came on. And now we will do one in more of the primitive. I already, with some Sculpey, made mustaches and they're baked and painted white. And I took the Sculpey and made the noses and painted those. Now, trying to get the fur so it doesn't stick to my paint. And I'm going to put the face on the back of the spoons, not to where it's indented. I don't want the face on there. I'm going to put it on this side. and the wooden spoons I got from Dollar Tree. I'm sure you saw those in my haul. I feel like Santa's elf up here. I've been cranking out DIYs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to dry, go over it one more time, and then I'll be back. Hey everyone, I'm back, and what I'm doing now is, to recap, I just painted the uh, handle of the wooden spoons. Two are red, one is this, more of this primitive. And then I just took a pencil, which I wish I wouldn't have used the dark blue that I used, but that's okay. Um, and just did a little bit to follow for the face because the rest of this will be white for the beard. So you just want a little bit for the face. So I'm going to go ahead and off camera for the most part. I'm just going to keep going over this till I get rid of this blue line and paint this white. And then once I'm done painting this white, I'll come back and show you what I do with the beards. Okay, guys, let me show you what I did so far. From what I saw on Pinterest, the face was very, very tiny. The majority of it was beard. So I went ahead and painted up off the flesh and made it more white for the beard. And so, so far I've gotten the handle, which I have to touch up. But um, the beard and the face painted with the flesh. Now, I'm going to use these little seed beads. And they're not the real tiny ones. I don't know. I don't have the uh, size, but it doesn't matter because you could put whatever size you want as far as uh, the eyes go. And the Sculpey that I made for the paint brushes, I'm going to use the leftovers of that for the nose. And then the uh, mustaches I made out of Sculpey and just turned them like a handlebar mustache and painted them white after they were baked. Now, with what I got from the Dollar Tree, the micro fiber to wash your car, I went ahead and folded it and I sewed it just with a base stitch. I didn't want to glue it. Okay, I had to plug my camcorder in. Um, I didn't want to hot glue this together because I didn't want the glue to show and I didn't want it to be hard. 
so I just base stitched this you see here I left some of this to show you and you're just going to go ahead and base stitch this if you want you don't have to all you have to do if you want to just put this wide you can do that too it's just my personal preference what I want to do with this so that's where I'm at I'm going to go ahead and paint the other two their beards as well and then I'll be back okay I wanted to show you next what I did with the beard and what I did is I took the scribbles it's like stickles but you get this in the fabric department and it's a 3d and I just did little swirls on this one so I wanted to put that on before I went any further with the eyes and the mustache and the hat so when this dries, and this may take a while to dry, so when this dries, I'll be back. I'll do, before I uh, turn off the camera, I'm going to paint up a little bit more, because this is too much for the face, and I'll go, to, go ahead and do the squirrel leaves on camera for this one, and then I'll just do this one off camera. Don't know if you can, I'm trying to get it so you can see, but it's kind of hard. Like I said, I'm just going ahead and putting up, painting it up just a little bit more so I don't have so much flesh showing because I don't need all of that. Just enough for the eyes and to show a little bit of a cheek, tiny bit. Actually, I'm going to have to go over a little bit because the face is a little bit off-center. So I'll go in with a little bit of flesh over here. Just put a little bit. Then the big deal is just me. You know, I got. if it doesn't look right, I have to make sure... <laughs> because it'll bug me if I don't. So all I did is I just went over the white just a little bit just to center this a little bit more. All right, good enough. Now, what I wanted to show you is using the uh, scribbles. So this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do random hearts. See, I... I don't know, well maybe you can see this way. I'll do a couple of them then I'll do the rest off camera because you're not going to be able to see it when I turn it because my hand's going to be in the way. And there's not going to be a rhyme or a reason to these, okay? I'm just filling in the white. Just to give you an idea. All I'm trying to do is just dimensionalize somewhat this beard. So I'm just using random hearts where here, where with this one, I just did like little scrolls. And the next one, I don't know what I'll do. But it just adds to it. Okay, so I'm going to keep going on this until I'm pleased with it. And then I'll finish the last one as far as the beard and whatever design I decide to do on that. And then we'll come back and we'll put on the face and the hat. Okay, I finished doing the little swirlies on the primitive one. And do you see how small I made the face? So I made the face, just the flesh part of it, just enough to hold the eyes and the nose and the beginning of the mustache 
and then if I want to do a little bit of blush on both sides but the biggest part of the spoon is going to be the beard and in here I just did swirls and then just put dots of the paint but how cute is that so that's that one and here is the next one with the hearts and I think I'm going to put the polka dots in the middle of this too I like the way it looks and then the other swirls so that's as far as I've gotten and I'll be back when I start the face okay now what I did I wanted to tell you before I start the faces I went ahead I went ahead and I put on the gloss sealer so I'm gonna let that dry it won't take long and then I will glue on the fur that I have sewn then we'll put on the eyes and the mustache. Okay, so let me show you what I did here, and then I'll do one with you. I took that microfiber that you wash the car with from the Dollar Tree, like we did the uh, paintbrushes, and wrapped it around the wooden spatula. And then I took the uh, mustache that I made out of Sculpey, and glued that right underneath the nose which was made out of Sculpey as well and then I took the two beads and put those as eyes and then I just embellished again with what I had which was leftovers from the uh, paintbrushes so I don't know if I'm going to do anything with the handle at all but here is one so now we'll go on to the second one which I will do with you. So I have my fiber, my microfiber that I sewed. So I'm going to measure that. Okay. And I'm going to glue that on to the spoon. And I want it just, because see here is the complete face, so I don't want all that showing, just that much. Just enough again for the eyes and the nose, the mustache will go down here on the beard. Pull that tight enough. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's get the seed beads. I wished I would have got more of this size. I mean, these little ones I'll use for something, but really, for what I'm using, these four right now, these bigger ones work better. So now I need to position those to see about where I want them. That rolled over, I had to catch it. I think I'll just put the glue on first. Got to work fast though. Then I can pick off the glue that's here after it's dried. Okay, so there's our eyes. Now we have to get our nose. And 
then we will put on our mustache. And there's our face. Okay. Now I'm just going to embellish the hat a little bit. And again, I'm undecided if I'm going to do anything to the handles. If I did, I would probably do the same thing I did on the beard where I kind of scrolled the uh, scribbles onto it. So I may do that with one. I don't know yet. But let's go ahead and embellish decide what I'm going to use here a little bit of holly press that down into the fur. I think the red, the really bright red, looks really good with the traditional. Where with this one, if you look, it's more muted and um, kind of the brick berries. Maybe I'll put one of these pine cones on. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll put one more sprig. I need to get wire cutters, you guys. These uh, particular scissors weren't expensive. So that's why I'm, it's no big deal that I'm using them for cutting. Okay, so there's my second one. And then I'll be back after I get this one done and I'll decide on what I'm going to do. And if I do something with the handle, I'll bring you with me. Okay, I don't know about you, but this one looks really crotchety. Look at him. I put the bigger eyes and I put glasses on this one. I just made some glasses out of a little bit of, I think it's 22 gauge gold wire. But he looks like he is just not in a very good mood, if you ask me. So they each have their own personalities, that's for sure. And here's the other one. And here's this one. So now I'm going to decide if I want to do a little bit of the scribbles. So I think who I might do that on is him, even though he is a crotchety Santa. So let's see. I just wanted to try it on one to see, you know, how I would like it. And it's something fun. They're whimsical, you can do what you want. 
And I think that's just about where I'll leave it. So, I hope you enjoyed this third in my series of wooden spoon altered Santas. So until the next DIY, and I'm not sure if I'll be coming back with any more of the uh, Christmas in July until the 27th when I'm joined with other YouTubers. I will probably wait until then and I may have another video of a different kind come up before the 27th. But whatever the case is, until we get together again, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. I'll talk to you soon guys. Bye.